Welcome back, Devils fans. It is your host, Ace, here on Running With The Devils, where we are talking New Jersey Devils hockey all year long. Please subscribe, smash that like button, share with a friend. Thank you very much. And the other day I was talking to one of my Devils fan friends in real life, in the flesh, as they say, and we were just talking about all the different jerseys that the Devils have worn throughout the years. And we started you know, debating kind of back and forth which one was better than which one. And then I got to thinking, why don't I do an official ranking on the channel of number eight all the way up to number one, my official ranking of the New Jersey Devils jerseys worn throughout their illustrious history. And for the sake of this exercise, there has been some slight tweaks and things to different color combinations over the years, but I'm going to dumb it down a little bit for the sake of time and whatever else. And so the jerseys we're using are the classic red and black, the classic white and black, then the old school white and green, old school red and green, the reverse retro one, the reverse retro two, the stadium series jersey, and of course the jersey jersey. And so without further ado, running with the Devils ranks every New Jersey Devils jersey ever worn by the team. Coming in at number eight, hate to do it to the jersey, but I have to. Number eight is the Jersey Jersey. When this first got released, I absolutely hated it, and it has definitely grown on me over time. However, I think this could have been much better, and I still don't love it. I, I've just grown to accept it more than I did before. I thought a black jersey was a really cool idea. I thought there could have been a little more red on the sleeves and things, and you know, a lot of it I just don't really care for. I love the fact that it says Jersey on it, but outside of that, you know, I think there could have been much more done here. And this, this is a Jesper Bratt game-worn jersey jersey. Number 63, Jesper Bratt. And when the Devils made the black jersey, I really wanted them to just do the old-school starter jersey. If any of you remember that, it wasn't an official jersey worn by the team, but it just came out for sale like in the late 90s, I think. And it was absolutely phenomenal. I really was hoping for a jersey very similar to that. And to this day, I would love to see that as an alternate. But number eight, the jersey jersey. Here's a Jesper Bratt. Jesper Bratt, game worn. Coming in at number seven, the reverse retro one by Adidas. This was during the 2021 season, the reverse retro. Adidas was tasked with switching it up and making some wacky jerseys for all the teams. And this is the reverse retro one. Game worn by Miles Wood. A Miles Wood reverse retro one. And I thought Adidas did a pretty good job with this. I don't love green as a primary color, but, um, you know, it was definitely a variation we had not seen before. And for that reason, I thought it was pretty cool. But again, hard for me to put it higher in the rankings due to some of the other beautiful jerseys we have. But here we are, the reverse retro one, 2021 season. And this one, game worn by Miles Wood. A guy that a lot of you wish we still had. He was the definition of heavier, edgier, more violent. Wasn't in the plans for the 23-24 season, and we moved on from him. I miss Miles a lot. Wish we still had him, but, you know, you can't keep everyone forever. But Miles Wood, number seven, reverse retro one. Coming in at number six, the reverse retro two from the 22-23 season. Adidas was back at it, trying to come up with some outside-of-the-box styles for the teams across the league, and they came up with this for the Devils, a complete deviation from anything we've ever seen before. This one embracing our former name or team name, the Colorado Rockies, throwing it back to the Rockies colors here with that yellowish golden purple, purple blue. It's like purpley blue. And this was what they came up with for reverse retro two for the 22-23 season. Very different. And it's kind of cool. This one I liked a lot as soon as I saw it. This one, and I'm not, I'm not trying to pick at people's wounds here, people, with these, with these specific players. But this one, Mr. Sharon Govich, loved Sharon Govich. Listen, wish we still had him. A lot of people kill fits for the Sharon Go Govich to Foley trade. But the reality is, at the time, I did like it. I'm not gonna lie, it aged horribly. But that is a win now move. Sharon Govich was buried on our depth chart. It didn't seem like he was going to crack the top six anytime soon. 
And we cashed him in for a win now proven piece into Foley. I, I liked the move at the time. I really did. I thought that signified we were a win now type of team. We had that magical run to the playoffs the year before. Now we add to Foley. I thought we were going to be a true contender, honestly. I really did. But I love Sharon Govich, and that's why I bought these, this jersey. Game worn jerseys are not cheap. I always thought Sharon Govich showed a lot of promise. I thought he was going to be one of the exciting young players to be part of our core for a while. And that's why I picked to buy his jersey. Absolutely love Sharon Govich. Wish he was still here, but it is what it is. This is the reverse retro two coming in at number six on the list. Coming in at number five on the list, the old school red and green Christmas tree jersey. Absolutely love it. Pays respects to the days when we were a terrible Mickey Mouse, in the words of Wayne Gretzky franchise. This is the old school red and green. This is actually a modern day version of it. For the sake of the video, I'm counting this as the same, even though there's very minor differences as the old, the true old school red and green. But red and green coming in at number five. This one was actually, this one was actually worn in the stadium series by our old friend Anton Volchenkov. The A Train. The A Train wore this jersey in the stadium series. I did like that we wore this for the stadium series. I'd wish we worn the old school white and green if I had to pick between the two, but I always like this one. Again, pays respects to the days before the Devils were a perennial playoff team, before we had any real success. A lot of the old school fans really love the old school colors, and this one's a beautiful one. So at number five, I have the old school red and green from the heyday, from the desperation days of the New Jersey Devils, red and green, number five. Love A-Train. Always remember him during that 2012 run where we went to the finals and lost. He was a big hitter, a punishing man. I was very excited when we got him. And um, that was a great team. That 2012 team really was a great team. Coming in at number four, the old school white and green. Love this one. I th always thought the white was super clean. Again, from the old, old days of the New Jersey Devils. Always loved the white and green. Has that nice, crispy, crispy look to it. This one was actually from the 18-19 season. They called it the Heritage Jersey. And this one's worn by Sammy Battenen. A lot of you may remember having your hearts broken when we traded Adam Henrique to obtain Battenen. Um, a lot of you still complain about it to this day. I think at the time it kind of made sense. But Sammy Battenen, the old school white and green jersey. This is a heritage game-worn Sammy Vatanen. Coming in at number three, the classic red and black. Always loved this jersey. This was the standard when I became a fan in 1993. The old faithful red and black. Absolutely love it. As you see, this one has the JM patch on here, and that is because this is a game-worn jersey of our friend Scott Gomez. From the 0506 season. Scotty Gomez, game worn 0506. The classic red and black. Firmly coming in at number three. If you guys aren't familiar with Scott Gomez, some of the younger fans, look up some of his clips on YouTube. The guy was a phenom. Rookie of the year in 2000, won the Calder Trophy. Part of the 2000 Devils Cup Championship team. Was a part of the 2003 Cup Championship team. One of my favorite players as a kid. One of my favorite players still. Absolutely love the guy. Gomer was a legend. And um, I actually did a really cool interview with Scott Gomez a few months back on the channel. Check that out if you haven't seen it. Really cool stories and things that he told. But the classic red and black coming in at number three on the list. Coming in at number two, the ultra-exclusive Stadium Series jersey that we wore this season in that beautiful game at MetLife Stadium against the Philadelphia Flyers. And they really went outside the box on this one. Black logo. No circle around the logo. Absolutely stunning jersey. I absolutely love this. To me, it's the best one of all time that deviated from the original colors. This one, you see you got that little stadium series patch there. This one was game-worn in the first period by Tyler to Foley. My man scored a goal in this jersey. Absolutely thrilled to have this in the collection. And unfortunately to Foley, again, not to pick at scabs of some people and scars, Obviously, came over in that Sharon Govich trade. It didn't work out. Everything went to hell, and so we're kind of going full circle here. But the Tyler to Foley Stadium Series game-worn and the Stadium Series style 
firmly in my number two spot of New Jersey Devils styles of jerseys worn in the history of the team. Absolutely love this one. It's sick. It's a shame that Fanatics and Adidas in the league all combined to have the worst rollout in the history of jersey rollouts, and a lot of people were never able to get one and had their orders canceled and all that. That's a well-documented saga. But here it is, number two. Absolutely love it. Stunning, stunning jersey. The Stadium Series jersey from the 23-24 season. Which only leaves one. Coming in at number one, the classic white and red. Absolutely love this jersey. It's super clean. I think the red pops beautifully on the white. This is the first jersey I ever saw live. I think I went to my first home game in 1994. Saw the devil skating on the ice in these beautiful white jerseys. And maybe it's my bias at hand here. But I just always love the white. The white just looks so clean. I honestly wish they still wore white at home. That's a topic for another day. But this one is worn by... 1995 and 2000 Stanley Cup champion Randy McKay, a member of the Crash Line. Absolutely love Randy. If you're not familiar with the Crash Line, again, that's a historical line in the history of the team for those of you guys that are younger. Check it out on the YouTube. The 1995 Stanley Cup champion Devils had a fourth line called the Crash Line. It was made up of Mike Peluso, Bobby Holy, Randy McKay. They absolutely smashed people and lived up to the moniker Crash Line. They were a huge piece of the Devils winning that cup in 95 and that whole run. Beautiful line, beautiful team. Randy McKay, beautiful man. And the number one jersey on my list is the crispy, clean white. I absolutely love it, guys. Um, maybe it's my bias. But absolutely love the white. Number one on the list. And there you have it. That is the official Running with the Devils jersey ranking list from Devils franchise history. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the jerseys you saw and what your rankings are. I know a lot of you are going to disagree with me, so throw your rankings out there. Anything else, Devils Hockey? We're in the summer, waiting for some news to pop. Maybe we get a player out of nowhere. Maybe we don't, but I'm hoping. I'm still hoping, but throw it out there in the comments. Let me know what your guys' rankings are for jerseys, and I'll be back soon. Love you all. Thanks for watching. If you're newer to the channel, poke around there's a lot of cool stuff from back in the day on there so you'll find some things of interest i'm sure and i'll be back soon like comment subscribe and all that jazz until next time friends let's go Devils.